Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I finally have an update to my palettes on the chopping block series. This is a very slow going project because I have multiple palettes in rotation at a time and I pretty much like use my um, random number generator app to choose the palette that I'm gonna wear on the day where I do wear eyeshadow. So if I don't get to these, it's just because they didn't get rolled. Um, so yeah, that's my story. But I do have two declutters and I'm kind of happy with that. So the point of this project is to use more of my eyeshadow palettes, of course, but also I want to minimize my eyeshadow palette collection. I did just film that series and I have so many palettes and many of them I haven't used yet. So I definitely need to weed out the ones that I'm not that excited about and then I think I can pass on to somebody else. So I do have two. The first one and both of these palettes I actually do like but I just feel like I don't need them in my collection because they're not like unique enough in like color story or formula. So the first one is my e.l.f. Bite Size palette in um, I believe it's rose water but it says Eau de Rose on the back of this because I live in Quebec. But um, I, as I said, I do really like these palettes. I am keeping my cream and sugar one that I have, which is more like the neutral one. But I just don't need this color story in my collection. I have these shades a million times over. And when I use this palette on its own, it's not my favorite look. I realize I don't like like these cool tone purple looks on my eyes. Um, they're just not that flattering, I feel, for me personally, but yeah, so I don't need to keep this. I do recommend these palettes though, and I have in my previous videos, because I feel like they're a great price and they're easily accessible. You can get these at Walmart in Canada, but I'm going to pass this one on to somebody that might want it. Um, the other palette I'm decluttering, it's actually the palette I'm wearing today and I do really like my look. I love the formula of the metallics in this palette, but I just don't need it. Oh, it's the Pure Festival palette. So I actually also decluttered the Festival 2.0. I got both of these in BoxyCharms and I like both of them, but I just don't need them. And I feel like I am never going to use these pressed glitters, so, and probably I would not reach for the more fun shades in this palette, because those aren't colors that I really, I'm drawn to, I guess. Um, so if I'm not going to use, like, a third of this palette, and that just leaves the neutral shades, which I do really like, but I have those shades a million times. Like this look, I can do with probably every palette that I own if I focused on using those shades. So for that reason, I'm also going to declutter this one. I also feel like you can't get this palette anyway. So I don't know. It just doesn't make sense for me to keep the this particular palette. So I am rolling out, not rolling out, I am decluttering two palettes. But that leaves me with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight palettes <laughs> that I haven't touched yet in this project that are in my chopping block box. So I've mentioned these before because they've been in the previous updates, but I'll just show you again briefly. I have another pure palette, but it's a BoxyCharm exclusive and it's this one here. This was in my Pan Those Eyeshadows project previously for the shade Bell, and I did end up really liking this palette when I used it, but again, it's that same like neutrals with like two colors that I'll probably never reach for on their own. So yeah, 
but I, because I haven't used it again yet, I'm going to keep it in because the rule is I have to use the palette. That's why they're on the chopping block. If I already know that I don't like them, then I just declutter them. So, yeah. Then I have my Ciate Pretty Fun and Fearless. It's just that cool tone purple color story that I'm not sure I like, but I need to revisit the formula of this one. Again, cool tone purples. <laughs> Studio makeup on the go. I need to try this again. I know I like the formula of this, but I don't know about this color story. Kylie Burgundy. This is more up my alley in color story, but this is ancient. Her brand has since, you know, reformulated or whatever and rebranded, so you couldn't even get this palette anymore, even if I did recommend it. So, again, um, a formula I need to revisit. This one I've never used, so I, it's not even a revisit, it's just I don't even know if I'm gonna like this. The Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal. I've only been keeping this for so long because I feel like these are more unique neon shades, but I've heard that the formula isn't great, so again, I just need to get to trying this one. I have the ColourPop Semi Precious. It's just an all shimmer palette of shades that I have a million times over, but I might really like this um, when I use it as a palette, like as one palette. So we'll see how I feel about that. The Pure Cosmetics P-U-R-E, not P-U-R. Buff Collection, the dupe of the Naked 3. This is just ancient. Nobody cares about the Naked 3 anymore. Um, and it's just a really like basic color story. I might really like this though. I do have a memory of liking the formula of this. It's just old and I don't even know where you could get this palette. I don't think you can. It was from a BoxyCharm, like a million years ago. The newest one in this um, project is actually not in here because I don't like it. It's just, it got rolled in and I've never used it. So it was a chance to try it. It's the Rare Beauty Sincerely Me Mini Eyeshadow Palette. This is a color story that I am normally drawn to. I love this what I call like a sunflower yellow. The only thing is the middle shade is a pressed glitter. So that's my one like hesitation, but I might really like this. And I did kind of recently buy it myself. So, <laughs> um, but it did come with a mascara and it was in the Sephora Isle of Doom as I like to call it. So it was like an impulse purchase. Anyway, I do hope I, I really like it, but it's in this project for now. So I always want to have 10 palettes in this box at a time. So I am going to pull in two more palettes since I'm getting rid of two. That makes sense to me. So I'm going to roll for those off camera because um, if I roll a palette that I know I'm keeping, I just skip it. So we might be here for forever. So I'm just going to do that off camera and I'll be back to show you those palettes. Okay, I have my two palettes. That wasn't difficult at all, um, especially since I just reorganized all my eyeshadow palettes and I actually know where everything is. <laughs> that was very helpful. So the first one I rolled was my Viseart Neutral Mattes. This is a palette I've never used before. As the name suggests, it's just neutral mattes. I bought this on a whim because I saw it on like a BoxyCharm pop-up sale. So I got it at a very steep discount. Um, they don't make this palette in this format anymore. But I did find like, I think there's a mini version of this in their upgraded packaging now. Um, but I have heard really good things about this in the past. I actually bought this because of Stephanie Nicole. 
she was like one of my favorite youtubers but unfortunately she doesn't make videos anymore but vizier was her like one of her favorite um eyeshadow formulas and she convinced me to get this i guess so but i always found like they were super expensive for what it is but when i saw it on sale i jumped at the chance so i do want to try this palette and see if it's you know if the formula lives up to today's standards because so i feel like so many brands and eyeshadow palettes have released since these were popular so we'll see if it's still the best of the best um yeah so i really just want to try this one i see myself probably not decluttering it because i don't have many just neutral matte palettes but if it's really not that great then i'll obviously pass it on and then i rolled another rare beauty palette that i've never used the magnetic spirit and this is kind of the opposite of that palette this is an all shimmer palette i do love the colors in here I just like never reach for these. I feel like nobody talks about Rare Beauty's eyeshadows, um, which is probably why I ended up with two in this project now. But I'll need to try this one and see how I feel about it. I could see this being really nice though, especially like these two shades. I don't know. More to come on this one. So now I have 10 eyeshadow palettes in this project again hopefully i will get to using them some more i feel like i am more into eyeshadow right now than i have been in the last couple months so hopefully i'll <laughs> get some more looks in and see how i feel about these um about these palettes so anyway that was a hopefully quick update to this palettes on the chopping block project i hope you liked this video if you did give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye